two hour drive, but here we are at Harry Potter World. Well excited to be going in. I wish I'd decided to come on my birthday because apparently they let birthday people open the doors. Emily's dressed as a wizard. I don't want it's a bit bright out here. I'll flip it round and I'll show you what she looks like. You've had this costume for a while now, haven't you? But you finally got an excuse to wear it with your wizard one that you bought the other week. Where were we? We were at uh, the comic shop in Birmingham, weren't we? Um, it shows your necklace as well. It's awesome. With a little saying on it, what's it? She believed she could, so she did, which is awesome. So we're going to go in there now. We're a bit early, um, but we're hoping they'll let us in. If not, we'll go around the gift shop. Yeah. Yeah, how are you feeling, Ollie? See that massive dragon there? That's pretty scary, isn't it? We've been here a little over 45 minutes now and basically we've spent most of that time in the shop looking at the awesome stuff. There's so much stuff in there for sale. Um, it's really, really cool. The dragon on the way in was like uh, mind blowing. The kids were loving it. Um, this is such an awesome place and we've not even gone into the tour yet. And we're quite relieved to see that you don't need to arrive at the tour with your exact time that we paid for. We can just have, we've eaten some food. We're, we're just gonna wander up and, and queue and go in. It doesn't look like it's too bad at the moment. Um, I'm slightly worried because I didn't bring a charger. Suddenly realised as we arrived I don't have a phone charger on me. You can buy them here so if I'm like an hour in and I'm thinking oh, I've got a whole day I can't film then I'll, I'll do that but I'm slightly nervous this will just cut off and it'll just be me at the end talking. Um, but no this is so so cool and I mean you'd assume that the tour itself will have more effort put into it than the outside bit and the outside bit has had so much effort put into it it's ridiculous so this is so 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 cool and uh, yeah I'm, I'm having a really good time. Uh, we're finally in and the main hall just looks ridiculous. Gotta just do a 360 there. It's so amazing walking in. It just feels ridiculous. Who still wasn't quite tall enough, so they had still some sheets, kind of the guys until today. Your first stop is by looking at your cover and set. One thing I didn't particularly realise is that uh, you're supposed to be following the lady around while she tells you all about it. We've just been kind of doing our own thing, looking at things, uh, taking pictures, standing around right at the back like I am, talking to myself. Um, but no, it's so cool. There's so much stuff going on. I've been doing lots of little random bits that I've never done like B-roll and filler videos before. So I'm hoping that there'll be lots of that strewn in between. But if there isn't, then uh, sorry, I couldn't get it working. Um, if there isn't, it's too much, let me know, because I'm also a bit nervous about that. But stuff like this is... It's just, it's just awesome.
How are you finding it so far? Um, it's really fun. Really fun. Yeah, What's been the best really bit you've seen, the most impressive thing? Uh, all of it. I all of it? Know. It's a bit of a broad answer. This thing over here is Tendulum. When I walked in, I was like, Jesus, the size of that. What about Dumbledore's room? Have you been in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty spectacular. What's your favourite bit so far? Lo all of it. All of it? Yeah. Do you want to go see where they make potions? Yeah. Let's go. It's over here. They're both finding it hard to uh, decide what their favourite thing is so far, but I think that, that there genuinely is so much to do and see that it's hard to pick really. Um, seeing the ones was really cool a minute ago, and they talked about how many had broke on set, how they were designed, lots of facts I didn't know about them. I mean, I, I like the films, but I don't know that much about them, so it's, this has been really cool. Um, Claire and Emily are massively geeking out, as you can imagine. Um, Ollie's all right, he's had a little bit of a tantrum, scratched my back up because I was trying to carry him away from something. But um, yeah, other than that, it's been awesome so far. We're about, I want to say, half an hour in, 40 minutes in. It's just been so much to look at. I feel like you could come here three or four times and easily not see everything. Apparently they've added a whole Gringotts bit that we'll get to later. Um, but yeah, I don't know how far through we are. It's hard to tell. They said it's about, about an hour and a half in, there's a shop, and then another hour and a half to, to get to the exit again. So I've got no concept of where we are now, but it just seems weird to think that people were filming a show in this kind of environment, a film, sorry, in this kind of environment. They just showed how it goes from one set to another. They're laid out pretty much like that. And it's just mental, it's really cool. We're walking towards the no filming, no camera zone over there, green screens and green sticks. So I'm gonna film from afar and then I'm gonna go have a go on it. I'd like to have cut to a video of me riding a broomstick there and pictures and stuff but it's like 20 quid a pop and so yeah I'm not I'm not spending 80 quid for my family to just get a photo of them on a green screen a bit much. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> This one here is not too dissimilar to your bedroom. Would you agree? You don't agree? I might have to film some of your room at home to prove people that I'm not wrong. This room is almost as pink as Emily's bedroom. Almost. Your room is way pinker. No, it's not. It really is. We're just waiting for uh, Claire and Oliver to finish looking at some of the bits we've already seen. But behind me is the Forbidden Forest, which looks pretty epic and very dark. I mean, I don't know how it's going to film, but it does look very, very, very cool. It's all spooky and misty in here at the moment. Ben's howling like a werewolf in the background, bless him. It's quite funny. Um, you can see the, I forgot what they're called, Griffin there. That's very cool. Loving it. It's, it gets really dark down here. So I don't know if you'll actually, I don't think you can even hear me. But, um, I, I could just as easily be at the Birmingham Sea Life Centre right now. Um, this is about what you missed out on in the last video, except there were less trees and mythical creatures. You can just about make out my face here. Ollie's just reminded me that he's uh, really, really scared of spiders. And judging by the very, very big spider webs in here, I think he's about to get a shock. What's the matter? Come back. What's the matter, buddy? Okay. What did you see? Spider web. A spider web? And a giant spider. You know it's not real though, yeah? It's scary. It's scary. Well, do you want me to protect you in there? I'll carry you through. I'll carry you through nicely because it's the only way through there is no way around it. I had a quick look. Um, let's go round it. We'll be brave, yeah? Yeah. We're brave. Rawr. No, we're the brave explorers. Yeah, we're brave explorers. Bye. You're scared. There's lightning in here, isn't there? Can't see any giant spiders though. 
I think we're all right. Where? No, that's a spider. Oh, there is one up there, right up the top. It's okay, look, 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 they're, they're dangling down, they're nowhere near us, it's okay. It's alright. <laughs> we hadn't noticed the giant one right there. Just looking at us, that was a bit of a surprise. Ollie's now run ahead with Claire. Well, I feel like... We caught up with them, they're alright now. They're just learning about how film bark is made, apparently. But we're in a gift shop now, so we're all safe. You're right now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we got away from the spider. It's all good now. You're not scared anymore. Um, we're at the gift shop now, so we're going to have a look through there. And then we're on with the rest of the tour. We're halfway now, I think, according to the, uh, well, the sign. But uh, Claire and I have gone back in to look at the spiders because they had to run after this one. Things kind of took a bit of a nosedive there. We went in the shop and Ollie just wanted everything, couldn't have everything. So he started having a meltdown, scratched my arms up and kicking and hitting me and tried carrying him out while he was screaming. Everyone was looking at us. It was very embarrassing. Um, Claire's gone off with him now to kind of have a chat and calm him down, but I'm just uh, had a bit of a break. And uh, Ollie's now playing the DS in uh, Ben's chair while they've gone off to look at the train in the background. That was good timing. Um, we're all feeling a bit more calmer now, um, so I'm going to crack on filming. But uh, we, I think the um, obviously the spider thing. I, I looked for a way through it without going through it, and it wasn't one that I could easily see. I mean, maybe if I'd asked someone, they might be able to help me didn't realise that was going to be the outcome of it but I'm guessing a combination of being stressed out by the spiders and then not getting what you want in the shop is just going to cause that kind of scene but I was properly at my limit Claire took him off and I was just going oh, I'm so annoyed like, oh. um, just venting her to her and obviously she's all quiet when she gets annoyed she gets quiet so it wasn't great but um, I'm not going to let this world a day everyone's alright now we can crack on this is incredible when I was a kid I was a massive train geek I love going to old model railway stuff. And here we are looking at Hogwarts Express. Amazing, there's a massive queue down there. People queuing to go on it and look around, I think, I'm assuming. I was getting slightly worried then because we came out of a, a hallway into a wide opening and I thought we were back at the entrance, but we're not. We're about halfway through, which means we are here and there's this whole other bit over here to go. And the good news is we're about to try butter beer for the first time, which is basically the only reason we came. So I'll cut to that in a second. We'll be all having a go on it. He's already cowed it out down there. He said he doesn't want to try it, but uh, I'm excited. It's meant to be really nice. I have it. My reason for being here, the butter beer, which is quite a small cup. I'm not a giant, but um, it smells delicious, but it looks disgusting. So I'm going to have a swig of it now. It's basically fizzy butterscotch flavour, which I guess is what it should be, really. But, um, oh, do you know what? I'm not sure I like that. I like the top. I need to mix it in together. But um, it's interesting. I think it's a grower, actually. The aftertaste is really nice. I'll find out what Emily and Claire think of it in a second. What do you think of it? Really good. You've got the special uh, butter beer tank yeah. card thing they sell you. How are you finding it, Claire, right? Nice. Ben likes it. Ben likes it too. Look at him boozing with his moustache there. Ollie trying it? We <laughs> <laughs> want lemonade. You want lemonade? Would you like to try this? No. Not even a sip? I'll go and get no. Okay. After saying no on the video, he then tried a bit of mine and uh, he really liked it. So I'm now in the queue again to get Ollie a cup. Um, it's not too bad in here. It was like four quid for a regular. It was uh, six ninety five for a, a special cup. Um, I think it, it gets a Sheepdog family seal of approval. We all really liked it. It was great. So yeah, I'm glad we came in and did this one. There is ice cream, but I, I don't want to be unhealthy and have some. I feel like that's a bridge too far, but I bet it's really nice. I've made actual house sets of where Harry grew up. His aunt and uncle. Was it? I can't remember what that is. Some kind of bridge. And the night bus, which is awesome. I'm just wandering through the uh, creature bit now and it's insane seeing how many different things they made for this film. Some of them took over a year for like 50 people to work on and then they're on screen for less than two minutes. 
and it just seems just mad that they went to that level of effort to make everything look real but it is so cool I mean I've just wandered into a room now to record this and there's a giant spider and a giant dragon above me now I'll just quickly show you I'm going to get out of it because I don't really want Oliver to notice that that's there and panic again. <laughs> Turns out he's alright, he's too busy doing this instead. We just watched a cool video on how they make the goblins for Gringotts and uh, it's a lot of work. I mean, they spend hours making the faces and moving them and all sorts of nonsense. It's very, very impressive the amount of work these people know how to do. Um, it makes me feel like my skills are really, really inferior, so I need to put a lot more effort into anything that I do. Um, we're in the Gringotts bit now where they model it and build it. As you can see behind me, there's a model of one of the buildings they were using for it. Um, everyone seems a lot happier this afternoon than they were sort of midday time. I think the fact we've had some, some uh, butter beer and some food, chilled out for a bit, means everyone's been a bit more themselves, which is nice. I wasn't expecting to see this when I walked around the corner. Ridiculous. Well, it's going to be more models and stuff like that, but it's insane. I'd like to have a room like this in my house one day. Give it 10 years. Maybe, maybe without the children drowning in money. This is awesome. Every room so far has been more breathtaking than the last one, but this one is ridiculous. It's so cool. And that's the end of the tour. We've had an absolutely fantastic time. We're now in the gift shop. We're looking around seeing what we can buy. Emily's doing the classic thing I always do of getting upset that she can't find anything special that she wants. She doesn't know what she wants, but I'm sure we'll be in here for another half an hour looking. Um, Ollie seems to have calmed down quite a bit, so I'm hoping he'll get to get something nice on the way out. Um, Claire seems to be having a great time. I don't know what she's going to be looking for. Hopefully she's got a uh, you know, modest taste compared to the kids who are showing me everything. And it's like, yeah, that's 50 quid. Um, no, thank you. Um, but no, this is fantastic. It's, uh, it's definitely been a great day. We've really enjoyed ourselves. And uh, I think even Ben's had something cool for me. He's loved seeing all the giant spiders and everything. Um, I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. I'll talk more after this, though. Right, well, you can probably hear from the music in the background. We're back in the foyer now. We've, we've finished the tour. It was absolutely fantastic. Did you have a good time, Em? Yeah. Yeah, did you decide on the best bit yet? Uh, no. I think the amazing, massive uh, Hogwarts at the end was probably the biggest bit, and seeing yeah. the Gringotts as well, they're the best two bits. So um, we've just gone around the uh, gift shop trying to find some stuff. 
borrowed how many was getting a bit overwhelmed with just how many cool items there were um, but and I mean to be fair actually yeah she was looking at so many different things and couldn't find was spoiled for choice Ollie straight away managed to get this cool Lego set which for someone who's been scared of spiders and worried about spiders the whole way through I said to him are you sure you want to get that and he was like no yeah that's cool so uh, that's what he's got um, I think he plans to fight the spider with his dragons that he already has in his, has in his room um, Emily has been talking all well, all month about how she's never had honeycomb and then just decided to get some while we were here um, I don't know if a honey jukes is a thing from Harry Potter but that's just some sweets she's bought um, more importantly she bought some time turner earrings which I think are very snazzy and I'm very impressed with that and then Claire got like a little key ring with a quote I can't remember who it's from it says um, Miss Weasley, Molly Weasley says, just because you're allowed to use magic now uh, does not mean you have to whip your wands out for everything, which is a, a, her favourite quote apparently. But um, yeah, we've had an absolutely fantastic day. Um, really, really enjoyed it. I'm a bit exhausted. We had a little bit more nonsense and shenanigans in the shop because aside from getting the Lego straight away, Ollie wanted absolutely everything he could see and just doesn't get that you can't and it's really hard to get him to understand that. But um, yeah, we have had a great day overall, just knackered. I'm trying to convince Claire to drive home. I haven't actually said anything yet, I haven't asked her, but I'm slightly starting to make the noises in the hope that she just offers, but uh, it, she probably won't. And I'll probably have to drive and then I'll be knackered. So you'll know whether I had to drive home based on whether this is out uh, Thursday or whether it comes out Friday. Because if it's out Friday, then I basically recorded it and um, edited it all in the morning. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up there. I'll see you all soon. Cheers.